What's up guys? It's Laura from Reading in Bed. Today is December 18th. So we're going to reveal the 18th story in the short story advent calendar. Benjamin is with me again. And uh, Henry is here too off screen just working on his advent calendar. Did you get it, Henry? Mm, yeah. Yeah? Good. Um, so today's the first day that I've actually fallen behind on the short stories. I didn't finish yesterday's story because it was really long. It was 40 pages long and I made it about halfway through while I ate lunch and I just didn't have time um, to read any more. So hopefully I can catch up later on today. Um, I don't have another book to show you guys this morning, but let's show this Ben. Clue! This is what uh, Ben got Jun for his birthday. Junior, Clue Junior. It's Clue Junior. Um, this game is not being made anymore, so uh, your dad and I had to look pretty hard to find this. But we're pretty mm -hmm. excited to try it out tonight. It's the case of the missing cake. Oh. <laughs> so, there's still ten slices of it. There's still ten slices of it, but one slice is missing, and apparently that is a really big problem. <laughs> so anyway, that's what we're getting up to tonight. Actually, not a really big problem. Now let's check out today's story. It's a. It's one of those bikes with, which have one wheel. One of those bikes which have one wheel. Yeah. A unicycle. Yeah, a unicycle. What do you think it is, Henry? Unicycle. A unicycle. Okay. Well, let's take a look. Maybe it's called Clownist. Called what? Clownist. Clownist. <laughs> let's see. Mommy. Hmm. I see it. I... Don't shake the table, hen. Mommy, I actually opened both of the. I you, actually opened that one. That's okay. I Just see. open one. How and don't take that out of Tokyo! No! <laughs> Shh. Grandma's sleeping, guys. Okay. Right. Oh my. Okay. Statistical abstract for my hometown, Spokane, Washington. Slash addendum Mommy, by Jess Walter. Put, it, put these away. Yes, I'll put them away in a moment, honey. Okay, so Jess Walter is the author of the beautiful Mommy. rune or beautiful runes. I haven't read him, but what? Um, I really, really want to jump a more Swedish berries. No, you can have some when you get to school. Okay, so he's got a really long bio as well. Um, yeah, so I guess beautiful, yeah, beautiful runes is what you guys are going to know him for most likely. And this story was, uh, originally, oh, originally on a website or something. Um, oh no, it, we live in water, a uh, collection from 2013. Okay, so enough of that. Um, Spokane, Washington, I think we get American, uh, like TV channels from there, so. Two yeah, I'm just going to look at the very first page. And as long as it's appropriate. Whoa. Yes, thank you, Ben. Um, okay, so this whole story is like. Ben, show the back of the game. Kind of like a list. And this, so, is, and this is the back of the game. I'm going to tell them something. Oh, you're going to come tell them something too? Okay. I really want to tell them one thing. Okay. okay let Henry come in and tell them one thing. If you go all the way down to these stairs, you die. It says Clue Junior. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to read the first three points in this list. Let's see what this is all about. So, number one, the population of Spokane, Washington is 203,268. It is the 104th biggest city in the United States. Point number two. Even before the Great Recession in 2008, 36,000 people in Spokane lived below the poverty line, a little more than 18% of the population. That's about the same percentage as Washington, D.C. at the time. The poverty rate was 12.5% in Seattle. And point number three, Spokane is sometimes called the biggest city between Seattle and Minneapolis, but this is only true if you ignore everything below Wyoming, including Salt Lake City, Denver, Phoenix, and at least four cities in Texas. And I'll throw in number four. This is really just another way of saying nobody much lives in Montana or the Dakotas. 
So we're going to learn about Spokane. It is one of those places that, you know, if you live in Edmonton, you just like hear about because we get their local news and stuff or we did when people actually watch cable, not Netflix. So I'm going to learn something in story 18 today. Hopefully I'll catch up on number 17 as well. And today is our last day of school, daycare, and work before Christmas. So, um, but not for daddy. But not for daddy. But this should be the last video that we make in the pitch dark. So I look forward to seeing you all in some natural light starting tomorrow. Say bye. Mm -hmm.